This is a tapestry from Rendell's. What we would do is thoroughly vacuum this. We don't want to put agitation across it. Normally what we do is use a HEPA vacuum and we'd use high pressure vacuum on both sides of this starting with the front because most of the soil that you can see is going to be on the front. And if you can imagine if you vacuum from the back side it's just going to suck whatever's on the top side down. So we want to start on the front because that's the most important part. Flip it over and vacuum the back. If this needed to be cleaned and normally unless there's been a flood from above or cats have sprayed high or something like that, if we had to clean this we would do a bleed test on it first to make sure that all these colors were color fast. There is a tag on this and we never trust the tag. It does say dry clean or spot clean only, but even if you dry clean some particular tapestries or rugs, it could still bleed. So we do not want to try just jump in with a dry cleaner. We'd want to test to make sure it's color fast first.